Hello again, Ron Natchez here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I purchased this Campbell Del Sphere. It's a nice piece, it's got a perfect edge on it, but the wooden that's done pattern isn't popping very well. So I saw another person who bought the same piece from the same vendor uh, re etch it, and it came out fantastic. So I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to take it, put some ferrochloride on it, and see if I can bring out the etch a little bit better. So here we go. Okay, I'm ready to start etching this meteorite sphere. I have all my equipment in place. I've got my little plastic tub. Don't use aluminum. Uh, the ferrochloride has an exothermic reaction with it. Always plastic or glass. I've got my ferrochloride right there. I have my acid neutralizer. The dilution 20 to 1 has already been done with just a little bit. doesn't take much. Just brush it on, wash it off. Got some distilled water and another little bathtub ready to go. Now, to pre-clean the meteorite, I use some 99.9% .9 isopropyl just to get rid of any surface greases that may have accumulated. And once the process is done, I'm going to preserve it with some automotive clear coat. And, of course, I'm going to wear some latex gloves to do the process because the stuff will turn your hands orange, not to mention your clothes. So, it's pretty benign, but still, it's a mess. Okay, here we go. Put my chair out of the way here. Let's see what I'm doing. Here we go. Okay, I've got my fair chloride. I'm going to apply a bunch of it to the surface. It's already starting to etch. And let's brush it around a little bit. already developing. Wow, it's just amazing how fast this takes an etch. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure I get it evenly all over all the surfaces. It only takes less than a minute, literally. Literally. Okay. I am pretty happy with the results right as we have them now. Go over two hemispheres. do it. Make sure it's evenly applied. Okay, I think that's plenty. This aside, let's wash off the excess with some distilled water. fingers. So I don't reapply it accidentally. Okay. Looks a little different, doesn't it? Okay, let's put the acid neutralizer on there. I'm gonna go wash my brush off. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, I've got my neutralizer. Paint it on all the edges. I've cleaned my brush, so there's no more of the. Let's put this in here. There's no more of the acid on there. Let's get it all over. That stops the etching part process and its tracks. Do it. And just pour the rest of it over just for the heck of it. Get a good 
soak. Okay. And let's give it a little dry off. Make sure back, excuse the noise. So here's the finished result. I'm going to soak this in an alcohol bath for, for a while, get rid of any excess moisture. But oh my, oh my, what a difference. Spectacular. I think I like this. So I'm going to put the meteorite in one of my grandkids' old Spider-Man sippy cups. <laughs> it fits very nicely. I won't have to waste a lot of... Oh, it didn't crack the bottom. But I won't have to waste a lot of alcohol. It's not expensive, but why waste it? Alright, I'm putting in 99.9% .9 isopropyl. I'm going to let this soak probably for the rest of the day to tomorrow, probably. Okay, that should get out any excess water. And that way, we'll be able to dry it off and know that everything is is clean. There's no more stuff, whatever you want to call that. Uh, either the ferric chloride or the the neutralizer. So I think we're done. That's the entire acid etching process. Okay, so the sphere has been sitting in the alcohol now overnight. So I'm going to take it out. I can't get my fingers in there. got myself a little neodymium magnet. Just put it on there and pull it right out. And there we are. All set to go. Next, I'm going to put this in an oven at 225 for about two hours just to bake any um, leftover moisture and whatever. But check it out. This thing looks beautiful. Of course, it's wet right now. When it dries up, it'll be a little less. But uh, after we coat it, it'll look just like it's wet. Okay, moving on to the oven. I've completed the drying process of the meteorite. It sat in the oven at 225 for three hours. Still quite hot, so I'm going to let this cool off for maybe another hour or two, and then we're going to uh, put the uh, automotive clear coat on, see how that comes out. So this might take a little while to cool down. Okay, the piece is all cooled down. We're ready to start spraying. So here we go. Just a clicky light coat, all surfaces. For starters, okay, that's the first coat on the top. Let that dry for, I think it says 10 minutes, and we give it a coat on the bottom. Turn it over. Okay, we're ready for the second side. I've rotated it around, let it harden about 15 minutes, which is plenty of time. Pick up the can of paint, and away we go. Okay. Let that dry for about 10-15 minutes. That might be all we have to do. Okay, it's all hardened up. Let's take a look at the results. Look at this. This is beautiful. I think this is only going to do to it. Anything else would just be adding more layers. I don't think I need that much more. Um, it's done. Outstanding. Love it. Okay, we're finished. It's all sealed. Good to go. Here's a view outdoors in natural sunlight of the sphere as it looks outside. I think I'd get a better picture when you're in the natural light rather than artificial. But man, this is just absolutely outstanding. Definitely a piece of eye candy. There you have it, all sides, outdoors.
So there you go. That's the entire process I used to do the etch on the meteorite sphere. Um, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed doing it. Uh, the results are spectacular, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.